Hi everyone and welcome to your tech tip of the week. In this video we're working inside of WebEx and we're going to discuss a feature that you have available to you called a personal room. A personal room is something that you can use to start an immediate meeting with someone. You don't have to go about the regular ways of scheduling a meeting by going to meetings, scheduling, picking a time. A personal room allows you to have that immediate space to have your meeting when you want to have it. A personal room's link and meeting number never changes. It stays the same so you know where to find it and somebody knows where to reach you because those options will stay the same. Now you can start a meeting in your personal room by clicking on this green button. But before we do that, I want to show you if you wanted to send out your link before you start the meeting, you can simply go to the meeting link here, click on copy, and then paste that inside any form of communication that you have with your coworkers. So if you're sending it in an email, you can send it in a text, you can send it in any type of chat, and that will get them to your personal room and they can join it that way. Now, if you want to start the meeting before you have people join, you can go and click on the green button here that says start a meeting. And it might take a few moments to join if you haven't used WebEx before. It will ask you to download the client that you need to access it on your computer and you can quickly download that and that will get you onto WebEx. So here my personal room loads up and all I have to do is click start meeting and my personal room meeting will have begun. It says that it's waiting for others to join and as you now navigate through this personal room window, you would then go about it the normal way that you would do any WebEx meeting. So I could see my participants here, I can also record this meeting if I wish, and I can enable my video and my microphone or I can mute myself. So now that we started our meeting, in this example we haven't invited people yet. So there are two ways you can do that. You can click on the three dots here and you can invite and remind and you could type the invitees in here and that will send them an email inviting them. Or you can go ahead and click on the three dots again and copy the meeting link from here and paste that into whatever form of communication that you use for your recipients to this WebEx meeting. Now let's say you did choose to send the meeting link before you started the meeting. People will not be able to enter your meeting until you have officially started it. So they will wait inside of a virtual lobby until you arrive. The same thing goes for if you lock your personal room. So if you have your three dots here and you lock your meeting, what that's going to do is it's going to have people wait until you admit them into the room and you allow them to come into it. There are also preferences for your personal room that you can take a look at and make any changes to. And the way that you can do that is by going to the main page here when you first log in, click on preferences and selecting personal room. So my personal room is here. Now you can't change your personal room link, but if you wanted to edit the name you could, but it has to fall between 1 and 128 characters. And there are some preferences here that you can choose if you want to make every meeting the same. So if you wanted to automatically lock your room for a certain amount of time after your meeting starts, you can do that and that way they won't enter until you admit them. You can also take a look at your notifications and any alternate hosts that you may choose. The option of having a personal room is a really great feature. It allows you to set your room up without having to schedule it. Sometimes meetings are off the cuff and they're just something that has to happen really quickly. So in this case, a personal room is perfect for that. You can start it immediately and you always know where to find it. What's great is that if somebody needs to have a meeting with you again, they know how to find your personal room and they know what that link is so you can start another meeting just as quickly as the first. I hope you like this tip and that you found it useful. Thank you for joining me for your tech tip of the week. Have a great weekend.